Hello painters, it's Debbie from acrylicpouring.com back today for our latest YouTube challenge. So I get together with a group of um, some acrylic painters and plus normally a guest painter uh, once a month and we challenge you to uh, create a painting based on a topic or a colour scheme or a technique. This time Megan from Ether Ethereal Orb has given us our challenge and we uh, in our group make no apologies for being a little bit geeky from time to time. So this time Megan has given us a quote from the Lord of the Rings as our inspiration. All that is gold does not glitter. Not all those who wander are lost. The old that is strong does not wither. Deep roots are not reached by the frost. And this is our inspiration for the painting this time. So this is going to be our February pouring challenge. So I thought what I would do was um, when I think of Lord of the Rings, I might very much think of the, the ring itself because I'm all about the gold and the glitters and the metallics. So I'm thinking, right, I want to do something definitely that's gold and glittery, but at the same time, I want to make sure that it really has a Lord of the Rings feel. So I'm going to try and do the Eye of Sauron. <laughs> I know, <laughs> I'm just trying far too hard, but I thought it would be fun. So. I've got a record set up and I've already prepared it just with a layer of plain black paint and given it a little bit of a spin so that that's kind of um, fairly thinned out for the time being. And now what I want to do is create um, like a, a flame effect almost. Not really very flamey, but I just want it to kind of spread out around the center. So I thought what I would do, if I look down from the side, I can more or less just carefully see where the edge of the label is underneath the black paint. So I'm going to put some spots of red in a circle around here. See if I can get them on the edge of this label. And then spin them to kind of, oh, oh dear, now I've dropped some right in the middle. That's not going to work, is it? And then see if I can spin them and make the, the paint kind of spread outward like flames. I'm going to have to get rid of that red there, there though. Let's see, where's the edge now? Here, here. I can't see it so well on this side. I think I've gone a bit off circular. Okay, so let me get a stick. I need to get that red out of there if I can. Whoop. There we go. I think that will be good. So, see if I can make some of those a little bit bigger to match on the other side. Now, where I've got the red, I want to do some orange. I'm going to put the orange in the spaces between the red. Ooh, this orange is quite thin. I'm going to have to make sure I don't dribble it like I did with the red. There we go. So there's my orange and now let's do the same with a little bit of yellow and I'll go in between the orange now to put my yellows. I want to make these kind of smaller because they're already close to the edge but hey who knows what's going to happen. Okay. So I think that is the pattern I want. Now what I have to try and do is spin it so that these kind of spread out from the sides. It looks already like I've got it a little bit off center because I think the ones on this side are kind of going in this way a little bit, but let's see what we can get when I spin. Now, I've got old clothes on because I have a feeling black paint's gonna go everywhere. Let's see what happens. <laughs> Not what I had planned as usual. Far too much paint. Far, far too much paint. Okay, because these, the yellow and the orange are just gonna go off the sides. All right, so let's try again. I'm gonna put some orange here. Not so much paint, girl, because I know when I spin that it spreads out so far. Okay, so let's spread the orange. <laughs> Looking good. Not again what I had in mind. Far, far too much paint. But now if I put some yellow, let's spread these out too. Oh, I'm losing my spot. All right, it's right above the red. Okay. 
Okay, spin again. No, I didn't get a very good spin that time. It's kind of off center. Let's try it again. Ah, more spinning required. Hmm. It's definitely a bit more off center than I would have liked. I think probably because I've only got this stick on one side, I've had like three or four sticks, I could be um, spreading it a bit differently. So if I put a little bit more yellow here, try and encourage that one to go out a bit more. It's not too bad actually, it's maybe just that one which is a bit short and maybe this one. A little bit more yellow there. And I probably want more orange. Do you think I need more orange? Because it's kind of very red looking. So I'm going to put, yeah, a little bit more orange in each of these spots too. See there I was saying don't put too much paint. Now I'm going to put more paint. Okay, here we go. More spin. I'm going to spin this direction. Whoa! That didn't work out. Better to stick with this way. A bit more. And I think a bit more. I think that looks pretty cool. It's certainly no longer uh, <laughs> completely symmetrical. It's certainly a little bit off center, but I think I can work with it. I'm just gonna go and wash up my hands and then I'll come back and add some gold and some glittery things. Okay, so I have my eye done and now I want to add my ring. Now, what I was hoping that obviously I would get it a little bit more centered and I would have some kind of guide where I could put a, a round ring kind of in the middle, but it's all gone a little bit off the middle, so it's not gonna look perfect. But hey, pouring is never about perfection. It's about having fun with it, hey? So I've got some gold paint. So let's see, I'm gonna try and make kind of, oh, it's never gonna be a circle, is it? I don't know why I'm kidding myself. It's not gonna be a circle, but I'm gonna try and do what I can to make some kind of ring in the center here in gold. Okay, that kind of looks like a ring. I think it's okay. So that's that. And then I thought what I would use is some of these uh, Twinkles glitter writers because it's like a, a glitter paint. And I'm going to try and put that on the top while the paint is still wet. A little bubble there. Let's break that bubble for a start. And then I'm going to put some of this around inside the ring to make it even more glittery. I think anyway when it dries it will look really cool because I know this gold will look very, oh look now I've made it kind of blobby, um, came out a bit uneven because the gold paint is going to look nice and metallic and glittery when it's dry but this is going to look even nicer I think with this extra gold on. So now I've made it a bit uneven I may as well just go right and do another set and call it a day. Okay. So there is my gold glittery ring. Now, should I spin it? What do you think? Should I spin or should I leave it as a ring? It's not circular anyway, and it's not in the middle. So maybe I should just try and give it a spin and we'll see what happens, shall we? We get the idea of what it's supposed to be. Let's give it a go. I'll give it a little spin. <laughs> shall I? Yeah, I'll give it a spin. <laughs> Ah yes, now when it spun I could tell it was definitely no longer in the centre, it's gone all over the place. But hey, actually off centre is good for me. I don't need all of my art to look completely symmetrical or everything to be completely in the middle, so I'm good with it. So I think I'm going to call this one done. I think it's going to look really good when it's dried and uh, I'll um, show you of course what it looks like when it's finished. 
and here it is dried and finished and I love this one so much that I decided to put resin on it as you can see it's got a super glossy super shiny finish and it really makes the gold sparkle there in the center now this gold uh, the gold writer that I put in here it did cause the the paint to have some strange kind of little crackly effects you can look here but it's not too bad and with the resin on top it's gloriously shiny and smooth anyway so this has been our February pouring challenge we would love for you to take part use the hashtag February pouring challenge so that we can find you and at the end of the video you're going to find images from all of the other pours from the people taking part including our guest this time Miriam so it's a pleasure to have you with us Miriam and I'm looking forward very much to seeing what your painting is like use the drop down box underneath this video Video on YouTube so that you can see the links to all of the other paintings in this challenge and then we look forward very much to seeing your painting um, either here or in one of the Facebook groups. Thanks very much for taking part and see you again on the channel here very soon.